Hey guys and welcome back to another season of Discovery Dog Making Video. So since I put out the solo stockades boosting method, a lot of people have been asking to show a simple way that beginners can get started doing the same thing. So the easiest way to do that is by doing it as a duo. So I'll be showing you in this video the easiest way to duo boost stockades. Now you're only going to be killing 40 one mobs and the run should take around six to seven minutes so you can't charge too much but you can still char charge a bit of decent gold for them so this is the build that you want to go with so you want to be pretty much all in arcane making sure you get your clear casting that is pretty much the main thing and then for the runes you want to have living bomb regeneration and living flame now when you're doing a duo you can pretty much just face tank the mobs because you're going to have two living flames out at once and this is going to heal you a lot so we'll be able to keep up and out heal the damage that you're going to take now in this video i'll show you the simplest route that is very very easy to do as a beginner and you can charge i would honestly charge less for this run because it's only 41 mobs and you're doing it as a duo so the boosties will get a little bit less xp but the runs can be very quick so I'd charge anywhere from 1 gold all the way up to 3 gold for this boosting method. And obviously you want to split this with your duo partner. And then another thing when you're doing this as a duo, I'd highly recommend splitting the loot evenly also. And then if you get any blue BOEs, I would recommend rolling in between the other booster that you're boosting with and rolling off pretty much any of the BOEs that are worth over 1 gold. This way it's fair for both parties that are doing the duo boost together and it should just keep things nice and simple so you know it is both fair for each other. So what you want to be doing is pulling the mobs with your living bomb. You want to have one of the boosters go the right side and then one of the boosters pull the left side and you just want to pull run one set of rooms at a time. So two rooms in total and this is not many mobs whatsoever and you can do this very very easily if you're just getting started. You won't need to have much gear whatsoever to do this. Now another thing I would recommend putting the loot on free for all this way you can loot all the mobs and then you can split evenly with your boosting partner that you're doing the duo with so once you've done the first room and obviously you want to make sure that you have the correct runes and everything set up before you start doing this and then what you want to do is simply just grab the mobs in the hall there make sure you grab all the mobs in both of the rooms so one person gets the right side once again the other person will get the left side then you want to stack the mobs up together so both of the living flames are hitting all of the mobs at once and then also your arcane explosions are also hitting the mobs all at the same time so as you can see the mobs burn down very quickly you're going to have no trouble with actually losing too much health you'll be able to out heal it just from the living flame on top of that obviously your arcane explosion will give you a bit of extra healing too now a big thing that some beginners will forget is to keep up regeneration so you want to make sure the whole time while the mobs are up that you have regeneration up and running so a good way to start off by doing the pulls is by using a mana shield then using your regeneration then using your water healing uh, getting to full mana once you have full mana both people do the exact same thing then once you both have full mana go ahead and then start the pull now for this pull right here, I'd recommend grabbing this back room and then going on the left side only and grabbing the mobs in the hallway. Now you can grab the forest one if you want to or you can grab the one that we just grabbed then and then you want to stack the mobs up together so the living flame does damage and heals, heals both of you and you want to stack the mobs up just like this. Once you have the mobs stacked up in all the pulls, you just want to spam arcane explosion if the mobs start to run into the rooms where they can aggro the other mobs, you just want to Nova them to keep them in place. This way they won't pull any more mobs while you have low mana and that could be trouble. Um, if you don't have an Evo up or you don't have any mana pots, you will need to um, make sure that the mobs don't flee into the rooms and pull more mobs once you're out of mana. Now you just want to rinse and repeat the same thing. You want to make sure that you have full mana so you want to eat up. Once you have full mana, you want to use a mana shield. This will just keep your health up while you're pulling the mobs. Then you want to just do the exact same thing. One person on the right side room, one person on the left side room. Pull all the mobs with living bomb. Once the mobs are pulled, you both want to use living flame at the same time. Stack the mobs together. And then, 
So what I personally do is I'll pull the mobs from the right side into the left side where the second booster is, stack the mobs up there, and then from there you just want to spam Arcane Explosion. Pretty much this is the exact same thing you want to do every single pull. Now if your health gets really low, what you can do is you can do a Nova, and this will be able to let you stand back a bit and you'll stop taking damage, and your Living Flame will heal you up to full very, very quickly. Once again, once they start fleeing, if you want to, you want to um, use your Nova and this will just keep the mobs in place, keep everything a lot smoother. Now you don't want to go on the, on the right wing, you only want to clear the left side wing. The mobs on the right side actually stun you and they're a bit harder, but I will bring a video out about that um, maybe tomorrow where I can show you how to do a 75 mob duo pull and this will basically be pulling pretty much all the mobs except the bosses on the right side. So it'll be every single mob that is in stockades. And now some people actually ask for this because they have a quest that requires killing the mobs on the right wing. And sometimes you can actually charge them a bit extra um, to do that because obviously it's more mobs. In total, it's 75 mobs. Um, and then on top of that, some people can give you, well, offer to give you gold if you can help them do the quest. So by doing that, you will have to do the full clear, which is clearing the right side also but if you're just getting started and you and your boosting partner is just new at this I'd highly recommend just doing the left um, the left wing like we're doing in this video so it's as simple as that now this is the beginner way to do it this is only 41 mobs so you can't charge too much for this boost but that is it now you'll just simply reset the dungeon as you can see we did it in around six minutes and like 30 seconds so that's the beginner way to do the stockades boost as a duo. Now if you'd like to learn more about making gold in Season of Discovery, you can check out my gold making guide which will be the first link down below in the description box. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.